All right, this is uh, number one from Form B 2010 Calc AB NBC exams, and it's the uh, area volume problem. And it's uh, not really a tough one, so uh, that was a lucky year. Let's insert a uh, calculator page and define our function. So the first function I'm going to define is uh, f of x. And f of x is actually just going to be the line y equals 6. Um, and then g of x is going to be the curve for natural log of 3 minus x. So we want to take a look at this, I guess. Um, so let's do this. f of x and g of x. Uh, and then there's also the line um, x equals 2 involved. So it's not really a, I don't know what that region looks like. Kind of a hockey stick, maybe. Um, anyway, first question is the area of um, the region. So the area of the region is going to be um, the integral from 0 to 2 of the top curve, which is uh, 2, or f of x in my case, minus the bottom curve, which is g of x. So let's insert a calculator page and do that. Let's go integral from 0 to 2 of the top curve, which is f of x minus g of x, and then dx, um, which gives me that exact value. Get a decimal for you. Uh, 6.817. Um, or, of course, you could write out the function. So I would have, on my paper, defined the functions f of x and g of x and uh, written this. Uh, the volume when we go around y equals 8. So y equals 8 is above the region, which makes the curve that is farthest from it be the bottom curve, uh, so the natural log curve. So we have pi. Don't forget the pi. That would be a horrible mistake. Pi, and then the integral from a to b, which in this case is 0 to 2. And it's going to be axis minus the outer curve, which for me is g of x. And I'm going to square that. So that gives me the big volume. Now I have to subtract off some volume. So minus quantity, the axis minus the inner curve, which is uh, f of x for me, which is really just y equals 2. And I'm going to square that. And then dx. Get a decimal. And let's make sure it's the one we want. So 168.180, I guess, if we're rounding. Uh, and now the next part, let me insert a document, a, a page here, probably a calculator page. Um, R is going to be the base of a solid. For this solid, the cross sections perpendicular to the x-axis are squares. Um, so I want the volume. Um, and I know that to get the volume with known cross sections, it's the integral from A to B. And then it's the area of the cross-section. It's a square, so that's side squared. So in this case, the side of the square is the top curve. Take away the bottom curve. Um, so f of x minus g of x. And I'm going to square that. And dx. And get a decimal answer. So that's 26.267. Uh, and that's the whole question. So uh, I hope this was uh, helpful. Good luck.